Are you having fun yet? <laughs> I know it's a lot to take in and I know it's a lot to do. That's why I wanted to make sure that everything is kind of uh, broken up into little bite-sized pieces and you can go at your own pace. You can go fast, you can go slower, you can go medium speed, whatever it is that you want to do. It's your business and you can do it however you want because it's your business, right? So now we're going to talk about a little bit of goal setting. Now I know that you probably have no idea what you're capable of until you start doing some things that you've probably never done before. So it's kind of hard to set a long-term goal. Of course, you can be, you can have aspirations on things that you would love to achieve, but on a realistic level, let's set some smaller goals within the next 30 days. And then once you kind of get a taste for things and you kind of get an idea of how it works, then we can look again and see where you want to go next. So getting kind of started, you really kind of want to ask yourself, what kind of a consultant do you want to be? Now, first off, there is no right or wrong way that you could work your business, okay? Uh, within compliance, of course, right? But depending on the speed and how much work that you actually want to put into your business is your business. So with that, you could have just started just to get your product at a discount and feed your $5 habit and maybe make enough money to, you know, buy your own things, right? That would be considered hobbyist and there's nothing wrong with that because your numbers and your production for the team it all counts the same okay so you do whatever it is that you want to do the next level would be you want to work and you kind of want to see what's going on and learn how things go you want to get busy but you don't want to go rocket ship right uh, maybe you want to make a little bit extra money to pay a, a, you know, a car payment or the mortgage payment or maybe make a, t a small trip with the family or perhaps have a debt-free holiday. Whichever the case may be on that level, that would be um, kind of a rock star status. You know what I'm saying? You really want to get busy, but don't throw it all at you at once, okay? Okay? Um, you probably had a little bit of experience in direct sales before or perhaps with jewelry or things like this before. So um, you're, you're, you're ready to get going, right? So the third level is like Master Jedi, right? And you wanna go all in, you wanna completely change your life, you want to make the money, build the team, change as many lives as you possibly can with feeding those $5 habits and selling the jewelry all while working and becoming leadership and elite status and really going for the whole shebang here, right? Now, that's where um, the, the bling bosses and elite ranks hit and the life of the party and a lot of the recognition. If that speaks to you, then you understand that there is more work involved. Whereas most everything that we're gonna cover is all basics. It's just how much you do and how much time you put in to do it and how fast you go it will determine on your results right okay so you decide what it is that you want to do with your business for the next 30 days okay make a realistic goal how much money do you want to make how much money in your pocket after reinvesting your 45 percent commission how much money do you want to make in this business for this 30 days the next 30 days okay it might be halfway through the month when we get you're watching this video doesn't matter but for the next 30 days how much money do you want to make in your pocket and then we're going to have a little bit of a formula on how you can decide how many pieces of jewelry it's going to take for you to make that much money and then we can decide on how much work how many parties how many lives and how much inventory you need to get and move in order to reach your goals so make sure you tag me when you figure that out in this video and let me know and we will work together and build your individual plan based on what you want to achieve in the first 30 days and then kind of thinking a little bit of advance because you know you don't want to put the put the brakes on something like that you know right you, you don't want to like shunt that vision but have the vision of what you feel like in the next six months as well because when we get together at the end of the 30 days and you see what you've accomplished you've seen what you've been able to do just with your starter kit in your first month or re relaunching your first month you're really going to set your eyes a little bit different and you raise the bar a little bit for the next 60 days okay so go have fun let me know what your goals are and i can't wait to get to work with you guys